Allez, c'est I just got back from the gym and got my protein in, my Oikos yogurt. Got a bunch of Oikos. Uh, you know, I usually like to, after gym and stuff, like right after I like to eat one of these just to get that protein in my system real quick. Um, I think it's really important to get some protein in within 20 to 30 minutes after your workout. But now I'm gonna show you guys how I prep my meal for, uh, for dinner and all that. So what I do is I get the cage-free chicken breasts and pull them out. Then I get this crock pot right here and throw them in there. Kind of lay them um, side by side, just like that. Like that. And then I get this um, cream of mushroom soup. I get two of the uh, cans of this. Just a small can, two of these is fine. This is a pretty simple meal. That's what it looks like. And then I just dump it. Dump it all out on there. Get it all out. And then I usually just get something and kind of spread it out. I'm using this knife, which is fine. Just spread it out on the chicken. I mean, it's gonna spread once it's heated up anyways, but I wanna make sure to get it all covered in it and all in there. You know. Kind of just get it all spread on there. Just like that. Pretty easy. And then what you do now is you plug this thing in over here. Once you plug it in, um, throw these cans away real quick, get them out of the way. Yeah, but once you have it plugged in, you wanna make sure to cover it. This is pretty easy, I mean, it's, um, You know, it's gonna sit here all day, but you wanna make sure to do it around, you want it to cook for like eight hours. So make sure to do it in the morning, give yourself enough time, eight hours away from when you're gonna eat dinner. Close it down and you wanna put this on low. So you want it to cook on low for eight hours. Chicken will shred and then you just get a fork and you can stir it all up spread the chicken apart, get it mixed in all the soup. And then you just cook some rice, you know, boil some water, put some rice in the pot for like 15, 10, 15 minutes. It won't take long to cook the rice and then throw the rice down, throw the chicken on top, easy. So that's one meal that's simple. You can also do the cream of chicken soup. It doesn't have to be mushroom soup. And then you can also do, I mean, you can do a lot of things in the crock pot. I have plenty of things I'll show you guys, but that's my, probably one of my favorite ones for chicken. And then after gym, after the yogurt, eating the yogurt and all that, also like to pour, I don't know, one fourth of this in and mix it with cheese. 
I'm gonna put a little cheese in there just for flavor. You know, not too much, just a little bit. The serving size of the whole uh, carton of egg whites is 20 large eggs. So if you dump one fourth of that into the pan, that's like five eggs. It's a lot of protein and it's less cholesterol than regular eggs. But sometimes I'll do like if I'm running low on the egg whites or if I'm running ro low on regular eggs, I'll do both. So I'll do like, I'll crack two real eggs into there and then I'll do a little egg whites mixed with it too, just to kind of help save um, money and time going to buy eggs all the time. So today I've got to head to Atlanta to drop off a package. I'm driving through town right now. It's such a nice day out today. It's finally like sunny. Um, it's been raining a lot this week, but now the lake's like extremely high. I'll have to show you this afternoon what it looks like. It's gone up at least 15 feet or so. It goes up and down a lot during the winter season. And I don't know if it's just because of the rain or if it's because of the dam and how much water they're letting out, in and out and stuff. Well, not letting in, but letting out because the Chattahoochee River runs from the north to south and the dam in Buford is like closer to Atlanta. So they stopped the whole lake down there and um, it gets really big down on the south part of the lake like it's almost like an ocean when it's really windy and it's been windy this week so it's um yeah it can get pretty decent sized bumps like two to three foot waves which is fun to ride in the surf ski but the ocean kayak but you know um it's also really good sailing down south, but it's getting close to spring here. I mean, it, you can tell, I mean, when you step outside, it's really warm in the mornings now instead of super cold, but oh. I'm really looking forward to paddling this afternoon with this weather. Yesterday was pretty nice. It was a tough push. Um, eight by four on one off at like 90% high 170s, which is pretty high for me. Everybody's heart rate varies, but high, high 170s is pushing my threshold levels. And my max is like mid 180s to high 180s so we're going to be pushing those levels here soon but right now i'm just going to my mom's store i'm going to help her unload some stuff and then i'm going to drive to atlanta drop off a package at the capitol and atlanta is about an hour yeah, about an hour drive from town, but for my house, it's like an hour, 20 minutes. So it's not really, uh, um, I mean, an hour is not that far, but it's definitely not the most convenient drive to the city, but Gainesville's big enough as a city for me. I don't really, the only time I'm going to Atlanta is for like Atlanta Braves games or Falcons games. Sometimes, it, well, occasionally I'll go visit my cousin that lives down there. It's a good time. I mean, don't get me wrong, the city city life is different, but I mean, it's not really ideal to go down there all the time. One, because it's, it's, it's a lot of gas money. And two, it's the traffic's awful. And then three, with all my training and stuff, I really just need rest. I don't, unless I'm going to celebrate something. There's no need for me to go down there. 
I'm not working or nothing down there, so. But I'm at the boathouse now. It's pretty cold again. It was like mid 60s last week, and now it's uh like low 50s. I saw on Wednesday it's gonna get down to like 25 degrees in the morning. Um, or is that? I think that's Sunday, but it's gonna be it's gonna get down to low 30s all week in the mornings and. I don't know, this wind, this little front's coming through and it's bringing some cold air, cold wind. Mm. But it is sunny on the other hand. So. Good Lord, this dog's going crazy. There's a dog running around in the park. Yeah, he's running everywhere, pooping everywhere. Not really supposed to have anybody bringing their dogs down and pooping in our uh, area, but this is this is another reason why I'm looking forward to being over at the new boathouse, you know, every day because I won't have to deal with a bunch of random strangers coming and hanging out at the park. I mean, they'll come and hang out at the park, but they'll be over here while you know, we'll be over there at the new place. There ain't nothing wrong with hanging out at the park, but you know, in the summer on the weekends, it turns into a big party over here. It's not really the greatest place to have our club, like right on top of them in the shed, you know, but once we move out of the shed, everything will be fine. The spring's definitely on its way. I think we got another little week or two of winter one last like spell of winter and then it'll be spring here. We had a little glimpse of sp spring the past two weeks. So right now I'm just looking out over the, the water. I'll show you guys what it looks like. So as you can see, this is the park. There's the dog and the guy, but you know, it, you can tell it's real windy today. I mean, it's white capping. It's cold. 